a big Thank roar you. for Ronnie Here's O'Sullivan. As Neil Charles Folds predicted, he did nip out of the auditorium for a bathroom break to gather his thoughts. He's been put through the ringer at times this evening against young Zhao Jintong. That's not a great break-off, though, from the young Chinese in this deciding frame. It's been an absolutely compelling match. An hour and 15 minutes of pure snooker entertainment. A good deal of it provided by the 19-year-old but Neil. That mistake could be costly. Well, it's the old drifting red that can happen off that break-off shot. I don't know quite why it ends up down there. You probably hit the bottom red too thick, but... It's given Six. Lenny first poke here. And that's exactly what he's hoping for. A relatively modest evening for O'Sullivan on the break building stakes. 85 Seven. in the third frame is best. He's made a couple of 30s, a 40, a 50, which was a frame he actually lost. The fifth to fall 3-2 behind. It's been Zhao with the eye-catching scoring. Two century breaks, including that quite brilliant 130 clearance. 12. Well, that is not a good shot for myself, and he overhit there. And now the cue ball goes into the bunch. Last thing he wanted here. Oh, what a recovery shot that is, by the way. He knows no other way, O'Sullivan, you know, to uh, counteract someone. He's trying to pop all the balls against him. He just tries to pop more balls. And uh, at some point in his career, that's not going to be possible, but it doesn't seem to be yet. Yeah, you mentioned Thank that you. he became a bit frenetic in the previous frame, and I think it's almost a pride thing. He does not want to be put in the shade in any way, shape or form. It's just not something he's used to. Well, even that shot. Not everyone at that point in the decider would have gone into the bunch. 26. But the fact that he did, he's got big rewards for it. And already 27. things looking a little bit ominous for the 19-year-old from China. After that, the state with a break-off. Those are the margins when you're playing one of the all-time greats. 54. Again, 45. the cannon played, despite two other reds up the table, which other players perhaps would have played safe with, knocking those in. Really, the table is at his mercy now. He's created this all on his own. OK, he got the opening red to go at, but he's made the rest happen. 42. Looking to save his best till last. 43. Place in the round of 32 up for grabs, of course. 48. But the crowd have certainly been richly rewarded for hanging around. It's been a long day. We've had some long matches. 49. We've had quite a few surprise results as well. Mark Selby, the biggest casualty on this third day. Sean Murphy bowing out to Liang. Stephen Maguire, despite an excellent performance, <coughs> losing to Ryan Day in a, another 4-3 thriller. 54. Still work to do here, though, to ensure Ronnie wins. He's not over the line. 55. Now, is he going to go into the bunch for what will be the third time in the break? Choices to make. If you could play on the right-hand red and get onto the black from it, Points-wise, he'd have enough, so he doesn't necessarily have to go into these this time. That's a very calculated decision for O'Sullivan. I completely understand it. Most other time, he'd split the five reds, play into the scoreboard. But he's missed the red, and he missed it by O'Sullivan, 62. Quite a margin. So, having played the percentages there, O'Sullivan, he wasn't able to seal the deal. And that's very unusual. He can't believe it. Well, he knows. He knows that it's not over. 
very surprising, having played the right shot. Well, he's never looked more under pressure than now, sitting there, knowing that he was on the brink of winning a great match. And mercifully, mercifully for O'Sullivan, the plant wasn't there. Ronnie would quite like to leave that red where it's finished, actually, on the right, the right cushion. Well, that was never on, was it? That red on the right is saving the day for O'Sullivan. And a red and a high-value colour would be enough to leave Zhao requiring a snooker in this decider. Pretty close. Well, where's his colour coming from here? If this is not straight, perhaps he can stand up for a bulk colour. One. And he's just managed to get enough on there to get on the blue. That was well played. He won the fifth frame from 50 points adrift with a wonderful clearance of 80. And he get himself back into this seventh and final frame. Uh, I don't know if he played the cannon. I'm surprised if he did. I think he just played on the low red. He's still on that one. Seven. Well, surely he's not going to play to knock the red out at this stage. I think he's got to try and get some points back, and that's very well played indeed. That's a, just such a good shot. I can't tell you how easy you made it look. He just seems so sure of, him, of himself when he's in the balls. There's no flicker of hesitation about what he's trying to do. He just doesn't want to push the red or the pink <laughs> safe here that he's going to go into. He wants to make sure they stay in the middle of the table. That's not helping him if that happens at all. Oh, no, he took his eye off the pot. I don't think that was pressure. That was just a slight lapse in concentration. We've seen precious few of those this evening when he's been in amongst them. But that is surely going to spell curtains for Zhao. Uh, the quickest I've seen O'Sullivan move tonight is out of his chair there to get this chance that he didn't expect. 45 the lead, just 43 on. And a shame, really. If that is to be the shot that cost Xiao the match, it was very uncharacteristic of the performance he's put in. And Sullivan knows he's been in a match, Six. yeah, he knows. He'd love to have that one again. I think Ronnie will be full of respect and give good compliments to Xiao if he wins this match, which it looks like he now will. Thank you. I don't think Very there's any doubt about six. that. Fifty the difference. Forty three on. Two snookers required as things stand. Play the thin cut it wins the match but he might not want to oh, he does want to play it and that now is the match and i have to say philip it's one i've really enjoyed a whirlwind hour and 24 minutes it's been fabulous entertainment what a way to finish the third day of the inaugural english open and it's a match this audience won't forget in a hurry. They won't forget Xiao Jintong in a hurry either. What a talent we've seen this evening. But Ronnie O'Sullivan, perhaps the greatest talent of them all. And he's found a way to win. Outplayed for large chunks of that match. He's come through nonetheless by four frames to three.
that uh, talked to, I'm guessing, a very relieved and happy Ronnie O'Sullivan. <laughs> Ronnie, firstly, Gretchen, it was a great game of snooker for everyone to watch. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, I did enjoy it. You know, I, I enjoyed watching him. Yeah. <laughs> He's what such a, a wonderful player, such a wonderful scorer, such a wonderful technique, such a lovely way he just goes around the table. He's just a complete player, really. Oh, he's not the complete player. If he was a complete player, he'd probably be a bit unplayable. He just, if someone like Steve Davis got hold of him and said, look, don't play that shot, don't, you know, sat down with him and just showed him some of his matches and went, yes. look, instead of playing that shot, play this shot. He could be unplayable, mate. He's got cool. every shot in the book. He reminds me of my son. Yeah. I'm out there playing him. I think he reminds me a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> he's just got that lovely little aura. He, yeah, he yeah. breaks up 130, 170 yeah. and 80 as well. Yeah, he's just a, just, a, just a natural player, just a beautiful player. You know, he's got beautiful technique, everything's so compact. But pulls it back to his bridge and pumps it in. I mean, that's not an easy shot no. to play like that. No. And he's played it absolutely. Especially his situation I mean, as well. There's only yeah. a few players in the world that could play that as easily as yeah. that. Yeah, he, he played some really nice crisp position of shots, oh, didn't he? Pops lovely, in the middle of the pocket. Technique. Did you beautiful. feel as though you had a point to prove tonight? No, it's not, not at all. To be honest, with you, I was thinking, um, you know, I wasn't queuing the best, but I was competing. I thought I just, mm. got to just try and hang on into him. That was probably the experience that got me through there. I was thinking, if you lose, you know what, it's just probably nice to have a few days off. <laughs> you know, and if I win, all right, I'm still in. And, you know what I mean? It's just so many tournaments these days that sometimes if you do lose, you could do with a little bit of a break. Yeah. Do you know mm. what I mean? So it well, is. The, the good news is, yeah. you haven't got one match tomorrow if you win your first one. You got two. I got two. I was wondering. If you win, yeah. of course, you've got to win the oh, first one. Oh, if I win, one. so I got two matches. Oh, if you right. win, if you win the first that's one, right. you play down that. to. I prefer that. Yeah, it's better than yeah. hanging around, isn't it? Yeah, yeah two matches. Yeah, well, I was going to ask you about that because we, we saw earlier on when the game before was happening, when Murphy mm. against Liam, when Bo was was in action, we saw you outside on the couch yeah. having some chicken and chilling out because you had to wait around. Yeah. Did that? Did, were you tired playing in in the game tonight because you were no, a bit later? No, not at all. Not at all. I wasn't tired at all. I felt quite wide awake. I felt quite up for it. And like I said, I really, you know, when you're playing someone that plays so fluently. Nice. Even if you're not playing well yourself, you can just think, well, at least it's you know it's enjoyable to watch. You yeah. Know? Um, but nah, no, nah, I just I can't, I'm, I'm not queuing the best. Yeah. I haven't done for for, for a fair bit, so I just your long keep competing. Good. Long it's all right. I mean, yeah. I mean, if they go in, it's six out of six and a couple know. of them under pressure. Yeah. But to watch someone like him play, yeah. you know, he's so refreshing, yeah. and uh, you know, you know, he's just going to get better and better. Yeah. So it, when you're playing someone like that, sometimes you, you don't really. There's not a lot you can do about it, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? It's just nice to... We've all been waiting for him to produce something that we've heard about. And tonight, he played fantastic stuff. Yeah. yeah. Uh, nice. Tomorrow morning, you're back. Uh, we're back as well slightly earlier. Uh, Wakeling, you've got for a place in the last 16. Mm. Know much about him? Yeah, I've seen him practice before. I've seen him play a few matches. Yeah, he's been on the circuit a while now. And another one of them players that's, you know, capable of getting good results. And he's had a good week here so far. OK, well, listen, I know you've got to go back to the hotel, have a sleep, get up, do about a 10-mile run, and then get back <laughs> for an earlier...